Hey y'all, it's Sherry G. It's Tuesday and I'm about to head out. But first, I wanted to share my thoughts, views, and opinions on the whole Martel and Ariane being on the show together situation. Uh, Before I do, you know what I got to do. I got to drop my disclaimer. So hang tight and I'll be right back. Martel and Ariane have made YouTube headlines again. There's talk that Ariane is finally, finally going to be more than just a voice on Love and Marriage Huntsville. There's talk. In fact, Wanda actually said that Ariane is going to be on the show. That we're going to see her face on the screen next season. So yeah, y'all, there's a lot of speculation about Martel and Ariane coming back to the show. I'm really not believing that. I don't know. I could be wrong. And if I am, I'll take my L and keep on moving. But I believe that it could be, it could be just a a capping for ratings. You know, they're capping for ratings because the ratings for this show has been super low. So just getting the viewers all riled up so they can head over on, you know, to the show for the, I don't know, season nine, uh, well, season 10, <laughs> I don't know, but keeping the viewers engaged so that they can see when or if she possibly shows up for the show. Now we know that she's not going to show up this season because it's already been taped, but the next season, because supposedly they'll be filming again in January. So here recently, there were pictures of her and Aria, um, I'm sorry, Martel and Ariane out at the Polo Classic. Um, and then there was a most recent picture of them at Melnika's Spa Grand Opening. I have a lot to say about that. <laughs> First of all, if I was Ariane, I mean, you're in the same place with, anyway, let me just keep that to myself. But before that, we actually saw the most recent thing that we saw was when Ariane did something over on her IG page. It was something t- that she titled um, A Day in the Life of Ariane Curry, something like that. But she showed the both of them. They were shopping at H&M for all of the children and she was holding up the clothes and blase, blase, blase. And he was just kind of like tagging along, it looked like. And then she also showed them um, walking through that house that Martel supposedly built. We know Fred actually built it and Martel really didn't have his hands in it at all. But that house that he had up for sale that, I don't know, it was one of his projects, I guess, a way of earning money. But like I said, we've seen this before. And the reason why, well, one of the reasons why I seriously doubt that Ariana is going to come on the show is because first of all, she, um, Martel can't film with Mel. He can't talk about Mel. He can't even be in the same room with Mel. So what would their storyline be? I don't think they have much going on in their life. And second of all, I feel like I feel like Martel himself. Well, you know, he's he's a light liability. He shouldn't even be on the show. He's explosive. And the Scots, they seem to be staying away from him. We haven't seen them filming with him lately. There seems to be something going on there. So again, I mean, who is he going to film with? The Fletchers maybe? Um, Yeah, I could see that happening. But not only is Martel a liability, Ariane is also a liability. She's explosive. She's unpredictable. And again, like I said, I, I, I don't, you know, the Scots, they're staying away from Martel. And I don't think they even want to be around Ariane because she knows where their bones are buried by way of pillow talking with Martel. Um, if they have her sign some type of, let's say, agreement, like some sort of like NDA or something like that, or some type of contract regarding the secrets, you know, keeping the Scott secrets and the Fletcher secrets, because I believe Martel shared with her some things regarding Chris too. Um, can she be trusted? 
I don't think so. I mean, I don't think so. I think, you know, all it would take is for one person to piss her off, causing her to go off and tell it all. Would the Scots or the Fletchers, would they even want her on the show? Some people believe that that they probably would, especially the Scots, to kind of dig bones in Melody, you know, or to get Melody off the show. And I don't know if I'm seeing that either because she carries the stronger uh, viewership. She carries the stronger fan base. So why would they do that? It would kind of like, it would ruin the show. Uh, Ariane doesn't have what it's ta- what it takes to pick up and step in the spotlight of Melody. As a matter of fact, all of the different scenarios that have been spun out there, you know, Stormy stepping in, um, Letitia stepping in, none of that worked out. And it did seem like, you know, production was leaning that way Mm -hmm. during those times, but none of it worked out because those ladies don't have that it factor. Now, (laughs) if they want Ratchet, then that's what they'll get. But I really don't think so. I I mean, yeah, there's some ratchet going on. But I just think that it's too risky to bring Ariane on the show. Um, You know, I don't know. I I just don't see that the cast would be able to relax around her. They would have to walk on eggshells the entire time. Um, There could be no cast trip. I mean, how could they do a cast trip? Because Martel and and Mel can't share space. There couldn't be a girl's trip because Mel wouldn't be there. I'm sure she wouldn't be there. Um, and when you think about it, what can these two bring to the show? The suit line never came th- to fruition. Same with that underwear line that Martel was supposed to be doing. Inez Wine is still sitting in boxes collecting dust. And then there's Martel. He has two lawsuits outside of, you know, the things that are going on between him and Melody, all of their court stuff. He has those two lawsuits, one for that renovation project that he was supposed to have done. And he's being sued by that couple in the amount of, what, 60 some odd thousand dollars. And then there's another where he supposedly built a home you know, allegedly for another couple and there's that lawsuit and it's over a hundred some odd thousand dollars. You guys, if you need more details about that, you can head over to Trendings. Um, It's trending at some point. You can head on over to her YouTube channel because that's how I was able to get that information during my hiatus and that, you know, she kept me up with all the legal things that was going on. Thank you, Trending. Um, But yeah, what, what, what would be for those two to discuss. I really feel like the photos of them are to get the viewers, like I said, to get them riled up, to get us to tune in because ratings last season were super low. Ratings have been drastically dropped since the inception of the show, since it first aired. If she comes on, then Martell, uh, I don't know. I I just don't see it. But then again, Martel needs this show. He needs money. You know, if I'm wrong, like I said, then I'll take my L. But I honestly don't feel like Ariane is coming on the show. That's it, y'all. I just wanted to share my thoughts, views, and opinions because I saw, you know, the the photos out there. And like I said, they've taken photos before. Actually, in my thumbnail, there's a photo of them together. And that was all over YouTube. You know, it was all over um, social media. So uh, they've been doing this. They've been taking these little photos and, you know, taking opportunities to throw things out. It could just be a ploy between the two of them to get the viewers riled up. Um, And production might not be in in on it at all. In on it at all. For some reason, that's a tongue twister. (laughs) Anyway, y'all, thanks for stopping in. Go ahead and like this video. If you haven't, subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have you here. Hit the notification bell. I'll be back. Until then, ciao.